Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mean here. Today we're going to finish our journey for the main god saga. And I say finish because, unfortunately, you didn't see me actually finish it yet. I had recorded it once, unfortunately we had a crash, I had to figure out why. So, when we get to that spot, I'll show you what fixed my crash, and then we'll finish up the game. But, if you recall from our last episode, we were just about to walk in here on the Paladin of the Silver Scales. Whole bunch of them. These are the bad guys with Sir Etten Sky. You remember this jerk? Uh, he's got his uh, cadre of bad guys here, heroes, quote unquote. Uh, we are outside his range yes. just yet. You see that we have some buffs, and we're going to slap some uh, long term ones on ourselves here, just in case. Uh, now, sadly, the only long term ones I really have is animalistic power, which would be a nice little uh, buff for my character or for my partner, but I use it for myself. Nice little increased damage, dexterity, which will give me an increased uh, armor class, and some extra hit points from my constitution bump. And we're going to use some Bane. Boom. Now, I still have all the files that uh, caused the crash in the game right now. Once we get to that spot, I'll show you what happened. Uh, and then I'll basically cut the part out, explain how we fix it, and then go from there. But, we'll walk here on certain. He says this, Well, well, you did survive. Why am I not surprised? You can burn a house to the ground, and yet cockroaches will scurry from the ashen ruins. Such vermin are always the hardest to kill. Sir, Etten's guy, I'm glad you stuck around. I still owe you for our time together back at Waterdeep. I'm glad to see it wasn't meaningful for you as it was for me. I'll remember our times together fondly, though they end here and now. Where's the Lady Vespasia and the other paladins of the Garnet Rose? Those are our heroes, by the way, the ones that we actually care about. They had other things to deal with, and so went on ahead. Thankfully, most of them are far too concerned with redemption and mercy. Quaint notions that have little to do with low life such as you. You see, there's no way I'm letting you off these mountains. As far as I'm concerned, you disappear from history today. So you need nine to two odds to kill us? No, I don't need it. But it's already clear you have the backing of some kind of dark power. The quicker you go down, the better. So we have a diplomacy and intimidate check. Uh, let's do Diplomacy. I think it's my highest one right now. Listen, all of you. I have survived the trial by Tyr's justice. During this trial, I had a vision from Tyr in which he revealed that elements of the church have been infiltrated by Malar. I have been charged with expelling these elements. Join me. Failure. I wonder if we can actually ever pass that check. Uh, judging by the stony expressions on the faces around you, your words have had little effect. Hmm. It seems words are not your strength. I bet that arms are not either. Let's find out, shall we? Time to die. Paladins of all their civil scales? What the? Ah, my buddy back up. Yeah. What is going on here? Away with you, orc. This is none of your business. These lands are my father's lands. In time, they will be mine. Everything that happens on them is my business. Now answer me, human, or die. You're threatening me? One barbarian is threatening me? <laughs> Look around you, you subhuman piece of filth. I have an entire cadre of Tyrion Paladins ready to dispense justice on this heretic, and they who stand with him. And you think you're going to scare me? You in what army? Gron places two fingers in his mouth and blows, producing a shrill whistle. Yeah, back up. Surrounded you, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's even these odds up a bit. Paladin scum. It's not exactly an army, but it'll have to do. Why, Lord Tyr, do you allow such evil to multiply? I guess you suffer it to be so. Enough of this. None of you, nay, all of you combined, are no match for the power of Tyr. Behold his majesty. By the power of your word, main one, grant your power to my blade. Nothing happens. Despite his prayer, his blade remains dull and lifeless. I said, blessed tear, grant power to my blade. The weapon remains as simple steel. You, Marlin, bless your blade. The one he called Marlin tries the same prayer in her blade, also to no effect. Tear, by all that is holy, I beseech you to listen to your humble servants and smite your enemies. Again, there is not the slightest hint of magic. What? dark magic is this? 
He looks at you with hatred and contempt, but for the first time there is something else there, clearly written into his face, flashing in his eyes is fear. His lips curl into an expression of pure manic rage. Heretic! Blasphemer! Dark disciple! No more of your black magic, your deceptions, your lies. Now you die and go to your dark lord. Kill them, Tyrans! To the hells with them all! All right, with that, we commence our battle. Now, before we get nuts here, you see we got these guys surrounded, so they're going to scatter to the four woods. I already fought this fight once before, guys, so I apologize if it feels like it's scripted. It's because I've already done it. Uh, but since we got all these guys around us, I figure, what the hell, let's do a little blessing. Yes. Uh, she's fine where she's at. She has her blade and her uh, buckler. Is that the best we can do? Yeah. I could arrow up some guys, but I figure why bother. Sir Etten's mine. She ain't even getting nowhere to that guy. She might as well go help those dudes, though. Let's do that. I thought we need to crush her in. That dude needs to die in a horrible, horrible way. Those are good on now, big guy. Yeah, so the orcs are taking it on the chin, too. It's going to happen. We can't save them all, at least I've not been able to. What a paladin. Ha ha, great fun. If following tears is always like this, then I shall never falter. Yours was the most timely intervention. Thank you. Oh, believe me, it was all my pleasure. Nothing like a brisk bit of exercise to get the blood pumping. But alas, our fun must end all too soon. It seems we keep saying goodbye. This time, however, I think it will be for good. Travel safely, Garan. And you as well, may tear guide your path. Thanks, buddy. You guys rule. Alright, there is nothing really in the gear, if I recall. That's going to be something to write home about. We've got some arrows and whatnot. I'll just prove it to you. A little gold, that's got about that. Uh, let's see. And we can loot the bodies of not only the paladins, but his former comrades. So, uh, I will take the heavy shield, because I can give that to her if I'm not mistaken. So we might as well get her a better weapon. There's Sir Etten, and I think he did have a weapon that was somewhat cool. Yeah, Master with Longsword, there you go. Under rank, forgot about the rank. Okay. Scale of the silver sails. I cannot travel quickly carrying uh, all this. No, I don't think she can use most of this stuff. And this here, bonus spells, which we definitely want. Uh, we already have a shield, so we're gonna pass this one off to her. Uh, we're gonna pass off the scale mail. I don't think she can use it, and we might as well give her the masterwork long card because I have tears blessing. If you recall, this one does extra divine damage uh, and then enhancement bonus, and only clerics can use it. And I also have my tier and shield, which is nothing particularly special, but it's got the standard on it, so it looks pretty cool. And the Mail of Allred, which again has a lighter, better armor class. I don't get as much for my armor class for dexterity, but my dexterity was always piss anyway. The only reason it's as high as it is right now is because of my spell. And the plus one, I am getting that benefit, so I'm pretty happy with that. We'll pass those off to her. Got too much on my back to I know, move. kiddo. We're about ready to lighten our load, though. Let's actually drop some stuff. You'll notice that um, I do have a couple upgrades. You'll see that I have AI shield, AI melee weapon, and blah, blah, blah. Um, the reason for that is I have added another um, mod to my folder, my override folder. I'll talk about that here in a second. Yes. Just let me get her equipped with what she needs. Dropping anything that's useless. We want her to have the best possible armor that she can have, and that's why that is important. We're going to equip the Masterwork Sword just in case. Uh, but if I recall, it's just as good as her... Uh, sorry. It's just as good as her... Um, uh, what do you call it? Short Sword because she has a weapon bonus. So basically the only real reason to switch to this uh, would be the more damage. So probably the reason to go with it. Um, so we'll do that. She doesn't need any of this other stuff, we're just gonna drop it. 
might as well make our, our load a little lighter. Same with these extra bows. Not any more magic anyway. Uh, dagger, we'll keep it just because she does like to yes. build wield. Uh, now I, just making sure I got what I need. I don't need that. I don't need the commoner's tunic. Or this crappy longsword. I'll keep the mace because the bludgeoning weapon is always useful and the crossbow, of course, will be useful. Uh, I'm going to hotkey this. Listening. All right, now before we get nuts here, you see that she has her spells. Uh, her bark skin is still useful, and the armor class increase will be useful either on me or on her. I'm not particularly worried of who gets it. Uh, there's nothing else that I would pick from this list that would be better, in my opinion, than bark skin. If you want to get nuts, maybe Curse of the Intended Blades. Nice armor class penalty to a target could be extremely useful. Um, and it will last a decent amount of time. But a minus two armor class penalty versus giving you two to three to four to five armor class bump, you know, I'm less likely to be hit. Uh, I'm more likely to hit them. Yeah. Either or you could go, I suppose, either way. So I'm cool with that. Level one spells, um, cure light wounds is still a good choice. Uh, you double up on those, I suppose, wouldn't bother anybody. Uh, you know, some creature, I should actually say, of, of the, all these other spells, some creature could be useful. Spike growth could be useful uh, for just continual damage to the target. But since we don't have any real means to protect ourselves from that damage as well, we have to be taking damage all the time too, which would suck. Blades of Fire is useful. Doesn't last very long, but she is capable of casting it on a target. That could be herself or my character. So we'll keep the way her spells are. You have for me, though, you see I have extra spells, and this is where I get to my explanation for what's going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, first off, let's pick useful stuff. Um, since she does not have a magic weapon, rare magic weapon is down here, we'll use that. Uh, Shield of Faith could be useful. Let's get that on this, I suppose. Well, two extra spell. Aid's going to be useful for both of us. Uh, Analytic power for each each one of us has the ability to cast that, so you know I'm going to pick it for myself. Silence could be useful. Whole person could be useful. Um, while bull strength and all these other ones could be useful as well. Same with this one. Uh, Analytic powers, in my opinion, more useful because while it's less of a buff, you get it for strength, dex, and con. So even if you know I could say let's say bull strength would get me it to 18, this one would get me to 16, so it still be good, not as good. But I'd have more armor class because of the dex bump. I'd have more hit points because of the con bump. So it's a three in one spell, right? So I kind of like it. Um, I could just as easily go for even Splendor or something else that buffs my charisma because my divine might keys off of my charisma bonus, which, as you can see, is kind of piss poor right now. I don't particularly care. Um, I you know it's, it's weak as that bump is going to be. It wouldn't be worth it in a fight, I don't think. I'm more inclined to do things like Divine Power, Righteous Might. Hell, even Slate Living could be useful. Certainly want Magic Vestment to get my armor up to be as high as possible. Uh, so for level 2, what else could I add? Songbirds could be useful. Also, Resto, maybe. Inflict Moderate Wounds. A decent spell. Whole person, probably not going to work on any target we come across because Will saves. Uh, as you can see, as cleric, we're pretty much high will. Uh, uh, the cleric that we're going to fight, the bad guy, basically, I'm assuming, has high will as well. I don't know that. I'm just going to assume. So it's going to be a bare knuckle brawl. Cure moderate would be okay, uh, but the problem with that is I can turn all these into cure moderates, right? So if I were to do like yay, those are all cure moderate spells, so there's really no point. Um, so, death mill. Some negative energy damage. Mm -hmm. Only really gives you a bump if you kill something else. It's kind of not worth it. We already have aid twice. I suppose. Was. Yes. That's the one. Uh, we already have a summon creature, so there's only need for one. Although I do have the patch right now included that um, allows you to summon more than one. I will not do that. That's why you're seeing all these different things. Like when you see her yes. um, bark skin tooltip, you see how it's 1.5 minutes instead of the hour that it's normally listed for. Because this is part of reruns and that person whose name I always forget starts with a T. Apologize for forgetting. 
that's part of their upgrade. I'm testing to see if um, I can do the merger for uh, a next video. Uh, when you're on spell fixes, I've already been covered, but I'd like to do one for Cadrons. And not just Cadrons, there is a pack uh, that is a um, PRC, which means your, your epic classes, merger. And that includes not only Cadron stuff, but also rerun spell fixes and improvements. Um, Tome of Battle, which is supposed to be epic if you want to be a fighter with like wizard powers or some such. I can't really explain it without showing it to you. Uh, and uh, like the Complete Craftsman and a bunch of other stuff. The stuff that basically fixes you know, errors in the game or brings it more in line with pen and paper. The trick will be uh, I have to A, practice with it first to make sure A, it's working as intended, or B, that I can fix it to make it work as intended, which I think I can do. They have a really nice tutorial. Uh, so that video will be coming shortly, a week or so. Uh, and I really want to do that video because I, on the next playthrough and whatever I pick, if at all possible, I would really like to have rerun spell fixes working and Cadrons pack because Cadrons not only have more spells, they also add um, a lot of epic classes and even uh, base classes to give them some upgrades. A lot of new spells for like paladins and rangers, all kinds of good stuff that I'd like to see implemented. I mean, I use all of them, especially if I think they're broken or, you know, OP for some reason or other. Uh, but at least I'll give you a chance to see them in my next video. So, anyway, point being, you we're going to get back me? to this. Oh, level two. Matter of fact, first, before we go with nuts, I'd rather get rid of that. No. Leaps strike, that could be useful. But I'll do Battle Tide, why not? Uh, Battle Tide's a good one because it not only increases your your attack rolls, your saving throws, and your damage, you also get an extra attack, you also get the same penalties on the bad guy, which is extremely useful in close combat, so Battle Tide might be useful. From there, level two, I want to grab the. Um, I have let's grab Bear's Endurance and I can slap that on her. I'll go with that. Uh, Alright, with that, can we rest in this area? No, but we're going to rest in the next area. The error that I've been encountering uh, with this last one really freaked me out. We got to uh, the last fight, which is like the next thing we're heading to now. The. Error was as soon as the fight starts, you get a blessing. That blessing caused the game to crash for me. So I'm basically solving that problem so you guys don't have to deal with it. I'll cut this part out where it shows you what I'm removing, but let me show you what caused it in the first place. Okay. Because kind of not cool. I got all geared up for this fight. It was all buffed up anyway because you clearly see it's the last bad guy and you're like, yeah, let's bump it. Puff, buffed up with all my long-term buffs and medium medium level buffs and got just so ready for that fight there we go we can take a knee here and get our spells back at least they let you do this okay now uh, I will not only save over here as a quick save uh, but tell you what spell caused my issue and why so you see the spells we have listed here. These are the spells I had. Because of these are the spells I had, I had picked various buffs, uh, whether they be armor class increases, attack bonus damage you know, increases. Um, and of course, you know, I have a variety of spell effects that have been changed, modified, if you will, to, to enhance my version of the game as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and you can see in my previous videos that go through great detail on a variety of the ones that I picked and why I picked them. For instance, Bless has a really nice little twinkle or our show around me, same with Aid, uh, Protection from Alignments, the little hula hoop you guys will see here in a moment. Um, one of the ones that was causing my issue is this one right here, Divine Favor. This has been modified with a file uh, that I got online. Uh, I've talked about it again in one of my earlier videos, but the, the short version of it was Divine Favor put a um, kind of like an Arcanum disc swirling around my back. Kind of remember from watching my previous videos, it was the you know, reminder for me that my god, because it has like an eye uh, in the Arcanum disc, looking at your back. So it's kind of like 
my gods you know, looking over my shoulder and helping me out kind of thing. I love the effect, and it is a damn shame that I will not be able to use that effect uh, visually, anyway, on this next fight. It causes it to crash. Once you get into the fight, you get a blessing from Tear, and then, boom, the game would crash on me. That's so why I went through my entire override folder, and I got a lot. Uh, and triaged it all the way down to, I actually thought, quite frankly, it was going to be my divine power. Nope, could care less about the mod that we have for that. It was the divine favor um, Arcanum Disc. For whatever reason, caused my game to crash on the beginning of this fight every time. So, once I figured that out, I deleted it. I uh, haven't yet, so I'm going to cut this part of the video, take it out of the folder, you know, save, of course, shut the game down, start back it up uh, after deleting it out of my folder, and then we'll start back in. So I'll be right back. All right, folks, and we're back. Sorry about that. Cut that out just to delete the Divine Favor file. And again, we can still use Divine Favor. It's not that that's an issue. It's just the file. Now, we've walked through the town. There's really nothing to see here. Everybody's gone or to bed. Uh, there are these guards here. You can go up to talk to them and you'll see what happens next. The guards pay no heed. In fact, though they are alert at their post, they seem not to even notice you, as if they have been uh, deliberately blinded to your presence. Blank you, tear. So that allows you to sneak inside. And again, you'll remember this map once we get inside. We're actually just going through the front door, so it's looking a little different than the first time we were here when we stuck through the basement. Uh, I suppose you could have just as easily have done that. There's no reason you shouldn't. Uh, but, Domino. light up everything like a Christmas tree. And you see we have rooms. Uh, straight ahead is the fight. I didn't really look beyond these rooms. I did try to check out this room here because I never really got a look into it. There is a door there, but I can't seem to access it in any way. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be an issue. With this one you can get to, but it doesn't do any good because the fight's not up here. You have to go through these rooms there. So now, yes. having said that... You have need of me? Yes. Don't bend the way, geez. I will now. All right, we're going to buff up for this fight. And what I did last time, I'm going to try my best to keep to the same. So, we got some protection from evil. Remember, we're fighting a bad guy. Uh, long term buffs, nothing wrong with that. And she's got her sword out, so do I. So I'm happy with that. Well, I'm gonna give her a green magic weapon. Myself as well. Oh, just to get an idea what my armor class is looking like, I'm at 20 right now. So magic investment for me. Me too. Yeah, it's not bad. Listening. Now she can bump me even more. Yes. Not a ton. The 23. Probably didn't need it on me because I could have done shield of faith. Matter of fact. Oh, there we go. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we're gonna slap on some bless. Aid. Aid for her. Bears endurance for her. Animalistic power. And I know it seems like we're going overkill here, guys, but you'll see what I mean here in just a second. She only yes. has two spells that are left in her short term or are instant heals, so I we'll want to keep them uh, for the fight if need be. I'll just do a quick pause so you can see what we've done here. Uh, you see I've buffed my physical stats another two apiece, so I'm going to hit a little harder, a little more accurate, I'm going to get an extra uh, dexterity bump, so higher armor class from that. Even with my armor on, because of dodge, uh, constitution increase, so I got some more hit points. Not to mention hit points I got on top of that from aid. Uh, I'm attacking uh, with a attack bonus, base attack bonus of six, but my attack bonus of 14 right now because my magical weapon, as well as all my cool stuff, strength and whatnot. She is me. just as strong as I am. She's better dex than I am. She's got the same con I have right now. Uh, She's got really nice hit points, plus the ones from aid. She has a really good attack bonus, a base attack bonus compared to me, and her attack bonus right now is better than yes. mine. Uh, and I'm okay with that, because like I said, she's always been my heavy hitter anyway. Now, we go inside the room. Everyone follow me! I don't know that she can't get left out of the room, so I always kind of, when I was testing everything, uh, you know, making sure I got the right file, I always make sure that two of us are in the damn room and doing our thing. Peter, why have you forsaken me? What have I done for you to desert me so? Have I not purged the world of evil where I found it? Have I not swelled your ranks of paladins? 
brought glory to glory to your name. So why have you abandoned me? Why do you not answer me? Is there nothing? You. Oh, I should have known. Yes, I should have known that you would somehow be involved with your dark witchcraft and evil soul. They said I should kill you, but I swore you could be redeemed. I see now that I should have listened to them. Fear not, though. I shall not make the same mistake again. Can you not see you've been duped by the law? Lies! All lies! You've been abandoned by Tyr, and you know it is. Is this not proof enough for you? It is proof that I have incurred his disfavor, and now I see why. For too long I have tried to turn heretics from their ways, to be the merciful arm that seeks to save their souls. Well, now I see the light. Tyr has rebuked me for showing mercy to heretics. It is clear. I will compromise no more. You will just die. Yes, it has come to battle. As I always knew it would, I shall destroy you, the supreme heretic, and then shall Tyr return his favor to me. He reaches to draw forth his sword, but as he touches the hilt, the weapon crackles with energy, and he hastily withdraws his hand with a grasp. What manner of trickery is this, demon? Before you can answer, he reaches onto the altar and draws forth a ceremonial sword. It is a beautiful, but flimsy weapon. What kind of shadows are pulled over your eyes that you cannot see what is plainly before you? Even your sword has rejected you. More lies! I see only two demons before me. Evil, despicable wretches who deserve only death. I know not what manner of witchcraft you have enthralled me with, but even without my divine powers, I am more than a match for you. I have trained in swordcraft for twenty years with the Order of the Silver Scales. I shall carve and skewer you, and then undo this damage you have wrought. And now we need talk no more. Die, fiend! Now this is the part where the game would crash upon me being blessed. So again, the divine favor glitch has been removed, so we should be fine. Now that don't mean this fight's going to be easy. I'm going to slap up some battle ties. Get rid of some and a new crop of enemies seems and to sprout up. I'm going to come over here. Distract him. Yeah, my character always wants to try to use magic. It would be annoying. Now I have been blessed. Now I should point out that my stats are higher. So what blessing I receive, it appears to be divine power, this spell right here. And I say that because you see I'm getting a plus six to my strength. Boom. And that put me up and over the top to 20. My con's higher, but I don't think that's part of this spell. So I don't see where that came. It must be just part of the blessing. But with that though, we are doing our best to damage Halloran, take him out. And as you see, he is quite formidable. He's got his own blessings on him. And I'm hitting him. So is my partner. We're doing what we can. Between the two of us, we're doing a good whooping on him. This is not an easy fight. I say that because I've done it like seven times trying to delete my files. I always wanted to see what was a good way to ensure that it was our success. Get myself a potion here. Come on, get him. I'm a big solid hit. There it is, my partner. She did it. Hold, Nico. Stay your weapon for a moment. You look around to find the scene temporarily suspended, but you can still move easily enough. I hear my partner just whooping up on him in the background. I wanted to stop you before you struck the final blow in the heat of battle. I want to ask you something first, so let us speak rationally. What do you think is the just fate of Howlin' on Desmond Tear? What do you mean? The question is a simple one to understand. Halloran Deslantier has now been incapacitated. However, his fate is still to be determined. It is, I think, a matter of what is just, is it not? For this reason, I have paused the conflict. If you condemn the man to death, you do so not as a matter of necessity in the heat of battle, but as a reasoned decision based on upon what you think he deserves. You tell me what he deserves. You are the deity, after all. I'm quite capable of blessing or damning Lord Desmond here well beyond the dreams or nightmares of any mortal. But he is not my true concern here. You are. You see, I am not one who simply tells his followers what to think. So long as you hold my principles true in your heart, love, mercy, courage, justice for all, no matter their station in life, 
and I shall trust in your judgment. Oh, he's testing us. I have many needs in my church, and many types of people are required to fill them all. I shall find you the right place, but now is the time for you to show who you are. Here and now, what is your dis definition of justice? What does Lord Desmond here deserve? I have many questions before I pronounce judgment. I expected you might, and I shall endeavor to provide only truth with the clarity of divine knowledge, but without interpretation. Let's see. We all remember why Desmond here turned from the true path, so I don't need to rehear that. Let's hear about how many people he's tortured. How many people has Lord Desmond here tortured? Two by my count, you and Brother Turnius, who now resides with me in the House of Heroes. How many has he killed to keep his secret? Well, that's a good one. He can only be said to have killed one, Brother Turnius, though he obviously did not deliver the actual bullet that killed him. How long has, been, how long has he been corrupted by Malar? It was a gradual process, to be sure, one that began decades ago. Clearly, by the time he heard the city records of Assen and Van Gaunt destroyed it years ago, thereby obscuring the truth, he had substantially fallen from my favor. What other crimes did he commit to conceal his secret? He destroyed the city records so that all knowledge of his ancestor, Assen Van Gaunt, would be lost. He intimidated the archivist with the loss of his job and imprisonment. Oh, dude, that's not cool. He corrupted members of the city watch with cloning to keep his crimes a secret. Sounds like a bad guy to me. Are there any good deeds to be weighed against his evil ones? There are plenty. He is responsible for assembling and funding a mercenary force that has severely reduced, almost eliminated in fact, banded activity in the area of Waterdeep. As a result, trade has flourished. In addition, he has founded a hospital that caters to those who cannot afford medical help. None need pay for treatment there. There can be no real basis for exact estimates, but it is clear that both of these measures have saved many lives. Hmm. How much self-knowledge did he possess? Did he ever suspect he had fallen from the true path? This I can never know the truth of, and so I cannot enter it into evidence. Well, that's everything, so unless we want to hear about his past again, which we already know. Remember, for those of you that missed the episode or, or don't want to go back to it, uh, the reason he actually turned from the true path was he is found out that his family basically were cowards. Uh, and he wanted to hide that from everyone because he was afraid that people would look down on him. He left town, came to this town, and set himself up. And people in this town recognized his name and his family. That's why he burned the records, right? So they wouldn't link him back once it was found out that he had a, an ancestor who had basically fallen from the path. Basically, he was covering up for his family. I am ready to get my judgment. Ah! Well, I'm not because I have no idea what I'm going to do. Okay, time resumes even as the doors to the chamber burst open. What is going on here? Ah, the heretic. And oh, great tear. Oh, tear, it is true. Why? What have I done? For too long, my gaze has languished in other parts of Faerun, and my church has crumbled in my absence. But now I have returned to rebuild the pillars of its foundation. Listen now to the judgment of my champion as to the fate of the usurper. Champion? You mean Lord Del Deslantir? Yeah. No, he does not mean me. I have failed him. I... I... My eyes are finally opened. Oh, what have I done? My lord? What? But you are the ordained leader of the church. Desmond here has only slumped over and defeated. Stop wailing on him. But if not Lord Desmond here, then who is qualified to be his champion? Lord, I think he means the heretic. I mean, Nico. You suddenly realize your entire body is glowing with an otherworldly light. Yeah, I'm glowing. The assembled group looks at you and all, awaiting your words. Alright, time for my judgment. What am I going to say? I want to operate. My judgment for Desmond here is as follows. There's only rapt silence. Alright. He finds these areas where there's no punishment. Nah, I can't do that. I mean, he, he freaking was responsible for a murder. He was covering up his crimes, threatening someone's life. Yes, he did a lot of good. Don't get me wrong, okay? Yeah. The free health care, the getting rid of the bandits, is basically like saying that we, you know, we fought evil and corruption everywhere he went. He was trying to do good. He was just confused. 
which is horrible, don't get me wrong, and he did a lot of bad things. So we can't just say, ah, everything's fine and wash our hands of it. I'm not going to put him to death. Prison, flog. We can't send him here to the, the Stone of the First Ascension, where Tyr landed, because that's actually in the Holy Land, uh, where the orcs were at. And if he goes over there, they'll murder him. So I can't do that. Must give up his position leader of the church. That one seems fair. Try it before the full council. Now that makes more sense. And I know it sounds like we're passing the buck here. But we have a council for a reason, right? I mean, it's, it's like court. We're sending him to court. We know of his crimes. He's not trying to flee. He's not trying to, uh, you know, say that he wasn't guilty. He finally fully admits what had happened. So he is aware of his errors. That doesn't mean that he shouldn't at least answer for them, right? So we're going to put him on trial before the full council. I think that makes sense. Although a good flogging wouldn't hurt me. Nah, yeah, we're going to do the church thing. We're good people. So shall it be done according to your instructions as per tears will. Da -da -da -da. We are bad ass. That was passing the responsibility a bit, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh... I thought it was the fairest thing to do. And I still believe that. You're probably right. Don't mind me for playing a bit of devil's advocate. I can't really say I disagree with you. Still, your actions reveal your character. And that was my ultimate purpose. And so I think it is at last time to bring this little saga to a long overdue close. The weapon I gave you in the tomb with the just ones was one I forged long ago for a champion I did not yet know. Many have come, all but one have failed. As that champion now has both a name and a face, the weapon can finally be completed. A bit more personalization is in order before it can truly be said to be yours. Hold it now before you hold the weapon towards him. The weapon glows as an unseen hand etches still more runes down its hilt. Powerful runes that glow brightly as the artifact's history is writ large upon it. Let now and forever be known as Tears of Justice in honor of the one who wields it. Oh, yeah, I got Tears of Justice. Now I bid you farewell, but not goodbye. Never goodbye. Go forth in my name and with my blessing. And know that I'm always with you. Boom! Got me a level upgrade too. Badass. I wonder if my weapon does cooler stuff. That would be sweet. Right, well, we have the downfall of the new Grand Prelate and the revelation that he had been corrupted by Malar sends shockwaves through the Tyran hierarchy. But it is nothing compared to the realization that the corruption extends to hundreds in the lower ranks. The aftermath is demoralizing, as recriminations follow recriminations, and those who once were friends become bitter enemies. Luckily, they were tainted by Malar are now easy to distinguish, and so the purge is largely bloodless. Your newfound prominence within the church has placed you in high demand, and the next several days are full of private meetings and public hearings, lengthy trials, fervent prayer, and occasional combat, but eventually the frantic pace subsides, and the damage to the church can at last be as ascertained. It is on the morning of the fifth day, after your climactic battle, that you again see the sun, and the company with you as you emerge is prestigious indeed. Peregrine, the paladin son, one of the lords of Waterdeep, and the second place finisher in the previous election for High Prelate, has pulled you aside for a quick chat. And this is the guy I wanted to win. And so it ends, or rather, a new base begins, though it is one overcast with storm clouds. But at least we are on the right path. Yes, but I just wish there were more of us on that path. I don't know if you've heard the specific numbers, but the information I've been told is scary indeed. Before this entire debacle, we could field 350 paladins, 200 silver scales, and 150 garnet roses. Now that's been reduced to 42 scales and 98. Wow. Not even a single company. Boy, we got cut more than in half. And the situation is equally bad with the priesthood. Reports are still incoming but it looks like roughly 40% of our parishes will be without any priest whatsoever, and there will be hardly a single one that hasn't had some of its clergy disgraced. Oh, jeez. The next Grand Prix will have a difficult prelacy indeed. We will need to rebuild our forces quickly, preferably before our enemies discover how truly vulnerable we are. That's a good point. And so you think you're the one for the job, right? Oh no, I did run for the position at the last election. It is true. That was before I realized how bad the condition of the Silver Scales was. That unit ha was created to help protect travel in the environs around Wardy. 
Now there is almost nothing standing between highwaymen and innocent travelers. No, my city needs me now more than ever. The church will have to look elsewhere for its leadership. Not that there will be a lack of people vying for the job, I'm sure. And now I really need to move on. Besides, unless I miss my guest, there's a young woman over there who's been waiting quite patiently for you. If here knows, I wouldn't want to delay her any longer. Farewell. Yeah, boy, she looks like she's kind of pissed. And here I was thinking they'd never let you escape. I was starting to wonder myself. Yeah, well, you don't even know the half of it. You see, I've already overheard three different groups today who were speculating on who you're going to support for the Grand Prelacy now that Deslantier's been discredited, all saying how you could sway the balance of power, be the kingmaker, and so forth. Congratulations, you have a future in politics. Oh, joy of joys. Uh, <laughs> that's horrified. Oh, uh, really? Oh, no, don't be like that. Maybe one day you can be Grand Prelate, too. <laughs> then I'll be able to say, I knew him when... <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I'm grand prelate material. Such modesty. I hear religious types like that, but I wouldn't sell yourself short. So what about you? What are you going to do now? There's a certain road I plan on traveling. The grand road of Erlon that leads right into the high forest. Legends say the path constantly changes so that the unworthy will never find the ancient empire's capital city. The path is supposedly guarded by druidic cults, trains, fey, and the ghosts of the ancient elven city guard. Dangerous to be sure, but for those with clarity of heart and mind, the intellectual and cultural riches are nearly unending. Want to come with me? The adventure awaits. Do you ask just for the adventure? She smiles fully. Yes, but not all adventures are journeys of the body. Then I happily accept. Fantastic, to the high forest we go. Maybe along the way we can swing by the unicorn run. They say there's a lake of crimson colored water where the unicorns drink. Such rare animals. And it. They're supposed to flock like seagulls to the lake. As she talks, her eyes lock together, her green orbs gazing deeply into yours. Almost imperceptibly, she tilts her head upwards. Oh, she wants me to kiss her. We need to kiss her. The slightest movement is all she needs. For the moment you start to bend forward, she jumps into your embrace, her hands cradling your face and your lips meeting passionately. For several seconds, what seems like minutes in fact, she kisses you fervently, even going so far as to gently nibble your lower lip. Oh, you saucy thing. Before she jumps back, a mischievous smile spreading across her face. Finally, I was beginning to think you'd never get around to it. God, talk about how slow on the uptake. What about you? She could have made a move. I could have. Indeed, I thought about it. But when I remember you're the man and I'm not, a little tradition is still a good thing, you know. True that. She playfully grabs your arm, pulling you off into the sunset to confront the future you two will now share. Never mind, you big fool. I'll take it anyway. Now come on, the road and adventure await, and we're facing them both together. Alright, with that ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are at the end. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, we got our level up, right, of course. Might as well use it, I don't think we're doing anything else, so. Go on, Peter, baby. Gimme, 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 gimme. What about the lore? Give me some lore. Uh, and I will take some... Hmm. Oh, nice on that one. Oh, what do I want? I want survival. I want search. You never know when you want to find a trap. So, just so you can see what we finished with. Oh, it never hurt to have things like death ward, but you see how it's lowered than so have that upgrade. Hypothermia though is now available to me. Yeah, that's a decent one. As well as the upgrades to poison and other stuff. Level five. Oh, grab me another slate. Oh no, let's get a raised deck. Never know when you need to riz one of your teenies. And so this adventure is ended. But I will save your character and show you images of things yet to come. First, however, retrieve any items you left in the chest and level up as you wish. Alright, done what I need. Save my character. Now wait, I want to see that weapon we got. Because we did get the upgraded weapon, right? There's justice. Ooh, it glows. So this is our... Ooh, look at our upgraded weapon. It's plus two now. Still got our divine damage. We get a plus one to our wisdom. And we get some diplomacy and lore bonus. That's for being tears justice. I think, depending on how you 
behave at the end, how your judgment is on the guy. Do you murder him? Do you flog him? You know, whatever. This changes the name and the upgrade. But I'm okay with it. I like it, matter of fact. I think it's pretty badass. What the hell is that? Bag? You know, we never did use that bag of mushrooms. <laughs> I wonder what that was supposed to be for. Uh, but I think that was everything we need to do. Alright, is there an end? And so ended the battle for the heart and soul of the Tyranny Church. The festering corruption of Malar had been excised, but not without a terrible cost. Stop staring at me. Oop. Hope I didn't click out of that too fast. Well, with that, my name is Brother Mutant. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, thought of the main god saga. It picked up at the end. I think it was kind of rushed to finish it off at the end. I could have used more of those battles, in my opinion, during the lead into it. Maybe getting captured earlier. But uh, all in all, I'd say the, the modder did a great job. A uh, couple little glitches on my parts, and that's more of you know, me fiddling around with the override folder. Again, like I said, do not use that Divine Favor upgrade I've been using. Again, that's the one that you could find on the Cleric Buffs site uh, in uh, Neverwinter Vault. Can't remember if it's Cleric Buffs 1 or Cleric Buffs 2, but it was the one where you get the Arcane Disc. I, again, I modified it because that was the disc that was on Shades, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so if you did leave it as intended, it should be fine. I modified Divine Favor and, of course, Aid, Bless, and a bunch of other clerical spells, which is why you saw different effects. So if you're having issues, the best advice I can give for you is make sure you go back to an older save spot and start deleting the files um, or removing them into a, a safe folder outside of the override folder, somewhere on your desktop, for example. Prove to yourself that this one's not causing any problems, this one's not causing any problems, and find out which one is causing you problems and just remove it for the end. That was the only time I really seemed to have a big issue for the game crashing like that. And I, I've seen that crash before. But I still think that Main God Saw was an excellent one. Hopefully the next video I put together for Catron's uh, pack merger along with those other ones I can figure out quickly so I can give you guys some info on the merger, how you would do it, make sure that it works. They have detailed instructions. Now it may be that you don't have to do anything other than put it in the override folder, pick what you want and go from there. I'll see. If that's not the case, then there will be some tweaking. I will make a video explaining how to do that tweaking so you guys are capable of doing that merger for yourself if you want to. All right? But with that, again, my name is Brother Mew. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.